Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am Teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today, class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait, class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember, class, that having knowledge is having a power. Today, class, we will be discussing about series and parallel circuit. Last meeting, we discussed about the four important parts of electric circuit. We have the source, the wire, the load, and the switch. You have also learned about the difference between a closed and an open circuit. That in open circuit, electricity will not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end to the circuit to the other end. While in closed circuit, the path of electricity is complete. Therefore, it allows the electricity to flow through it. This time, you will be learning two kinds of connection in our circuit. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to determine the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. Have you noticed your light from your bedroom to your living room and other rooms in your home? What can you observe? Or have you observed the light bulb from a Christmas light during the Christmas season? Did you know that in a series of Christmas light, once the bulb is busted, the entire series of light will not lighten up? Compare it on the light bulb in our respected homes. Does it follow the same situations? So with regards to this class, Christmas light and light bulbs in our homes have different kinds of circuits. This is the series and the other one is the parallel. So look at this illustration class. Which do you think is the series? And which do you think is the parallel? So as we go on with our topic, you will know later on which one is the series and a parallel circuit. As you can see in this illustration that an electric current flows from the source going to the switch and it will distribute the electricity to the wires then to the load. So in a series circuit, it has one-way flow of electricity due to the one-way arrangement of the wire. Look at the illustration. Loads are connected along the wire. So if one load does not work, the following loads will not work too. Ibig sabihin, kapag nasira, or na busted or na basag yung isang bulb it will not work the other bulb too so this is the reason why electricity will not be able to flow to the other loads in a series circuit the best example of this is the christmas light did you ever wonder why if one bulb of a christmas light does not work the following bulbs would not work too. So dito sa series circuit class, kapag nasira na yung isang bulb, totally all of them ay damay-damay na. Masisira na din lahat sila. It's because they have this only one path. Isa lang ang path na dinadaluyan ng kuryente sa kanila. So in the other hand, Parallel circuit 
has light bulbs with different loops. Just like in this illustration. So as you can see in the illustration, each bulb has its own pathway. So in other words, each load or bulb is part of different circuit. So therefore, a break in one pathway does not make all the light burns out because electricity can still flow to other pathway. Ibig sabihin dyan, class, na kahit daw masira yung isang load or yung isang bulb, maglalighten up pa rin yung isa. Kasi nga, they can still flow electricity because magkaiba naman sila ng pathway na dinadaanan. So as I have said a while ago, that when one bulb is loosened, taken or burned out, the other bulb will still light up. So with this lesson class, you can now answer which of these two is the series and the parallel. So that picture one is the series circuit and this picture is the parallel circuit. We all know that electricity is a form of energy and energy can be derived from a lot of ways. But why do we experience energy shortage? So every month class, di ba, our parents pay an electric bill kung saan nagko-correspond doon sa binabayaran nila yung kinonsumo nating electricity in a month. So, in this topic, we will know that saving energy is saving Mother Earth and depths. So, here are some pieces of advice on how to conserve electricity. So, number one is switch off or better unplug appliances when not in use. So, kung maraming nakaplug na appliances na hindi naman ginagamit, so better switch it off or unplug them. So, number two is open the refrigerator door only when necessary. Why? Bakit ganon? Kasi each time its door is open, the more amount of electricity is used to make the refrigerator cool. So, kapag open ka pala ng open doon sa refrigerator nyo, lalong, la, lalong um, dumadami ang bill ng iyong kuryente. So, number three is that schedule ironing of clothes or better iron them all at one time. So, kailangan kapag namalansya kayo, kailangan isahan na. Kasi kapag paisa-isa everyday, of course, magko-consume yon ng electricity. So, number four is that use energy saving bulbs. So, sobrang tulong nito because these bulbs use less electricity but produce sufficient light. Parehas lang yung, yung light na binibigay pero yung mga energy saving bulbs na yan is nakakatulong para malesen yung bill ng iyong mga kuryente. So, number five is to stay in ventilated areas instead of using air conditioning units all the time. Ibig sabihin daw, kapag mahangin naman sa labas, pwede mong buksan yung mga kurtina, yung pinto, para sa ganun, hindi ka nagagamit ng electric fan o kaya aircon. So, in that way, malilesen yung electricity. And number six is invest in energy efficient appliances for the home. What does it mean? So, yan yung mga appliances na mayroong tinatawag na tatak na energy star. Look for the appliances with energy star ratings and logo. Such appliances use less energy. So, yun yung mga appliances na malilesen ang konsumo nyo sa electricity. So, I have a question now, class. What kind of circuit do you use at home? If you turn off one bulb, what would happen if you use a series circuit in your home? So, when you use a series circuit, all the other bulb will be turned off 
because in a series circuit there is only one path of electricity so that is why in our home the most appropriate circuits for homes is a parallel type of circuit because each light and electrical device has its own path of electricity that even when you turn off one of them other will still function so remember class that in order to avoid accidents it is advised to follow procedures on how to use electricity properly electricity can be saved when it's used wisely and properly so with that let's now proceed to our activity which is assessment so all you have to do is to identify the following illustration whether it is a series circuit or a parallel circuit. 